AC Sims, and we are back with more Hustle Cat. So, here's the thing. Um, I'm pretty sure one of these is, ends in a bad path, and then the other one just keeps going. Um, but the funny thing is, is like I, I've looked because there's that achievement for like Rusted or whatever, and there's no help anywhere. Like, there are guides that should give you like which um, things to choose to go down each path, but nothing tells you once you get to that certain person's path. What the hell happens after that? Like any of the choices you make, like I guess, I guess technically it doesn't matter what choices you make, but this choice matters because we're gonna, like if we run away, I feel like if we stay and help Graves, that's gonna be bad and we're gonna turn into run and that's gonna be the bad ending. Um, as opposed to we run, run away. Um, so I'm gonna stay and help and we'll see what happens. If that ends up not killing us, then we know it's run away and we'll go back and do that. Cause I, I wanna get all the achievements because there's not that many. And we want to see the bad endings. And I'm pretty sure quitting our job and this, or whatever this part, wherever this bad ending is, whichever one, is the only bad ending. So, so let's stay in help. No, I know magic too. And I'm not going to let you fight this creep by yourself. Avery, you aren't ready for this. Just ping. The bat hits the ground. I don't have time to register what's happening before I'm face first on the asphalt. Graves kneels above me. His legs and his right arm are coated in rust. He's stuck to the ground. I told you to run. Graves swings the sword at Natched, but it's easily dislodged. If only I knew the spell that Graves used to dissolve the rust. Maybe I can muddle through. It's worked with everything else so far. I think we're gonna die. I throw my hands around his leg. Avery, don't! <laughs> Too easy. Always knew you'd get dropped because of your strays. I don't think that was the same accent that I used the last time. What the fuck just happened? I don't know. What's wrong with my hands? Why are they rusty? It's spreading. No! Ooh! I got the bad ending! <gasps> Go me! It's your birthday. We got what we wanted. I just wanted to get that path. Yes! I mustn't rust away. I mustn't rust away. I mustn't rust away. And it was so I was like, what the f- I was like, how do you get this achievement? Like, I have to tell you, a bad path. And like, nothing will tell you. So cool. We're going to load back. This is why we save it. Um, right before choices. Obviously, you know, I'm recording this in advance. Why are you dawdling? Go. Run away. Don't you worry, kitten. I'll catch up. Ha. Natched word. Natched. Natched word. That's natched. Is natched. 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 I'm. <laughs> that's not physically possible to say. Words haunt me as I run the best I can on my sore ankle. It hurts with every step, but I can't stop. I pull out my phone as I run. I mash the touch screen to get to Finley's number. Usually we just exchange, we just text because I hate talking on the phone. That's me. If I call, maybe she'll notice and realize it's an emergency. Ring, 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 voicemail. Crap! I try a few more times. I almost dialed the pizza place by accident because my hands are shaky. Maybe they'd be able to help me too. I see the cafe in front of me when my ringtone blares to life. Crap, did Natch hear that? I should have been more quiet. He knows where you're going. I answer the phone before it can ring anymore. Hello? What the heck, Avery? Everything all right? You lock yourself out or something? Cause if you want to come over, no. No, this is bad. I got attacked. Oh my God, what? Some witch <laughs> attacked me. Attack Graves. It's bad. Avery, oh my god, where are you? I'm heading to the cafe. I'll meet you there, hun. i I'm coming. No, wait. She's already hung up. I just need to reach out to someone to tell them what happened. I didn't think this through. What if Natched intercepts her? My gut fills with terror. After all, if he knows who I am, he knows who she is too. No, Finley's stronger than me. She knows how to handle creeps. Right? I hobble into the cafe, lock the door behind me, and collapse onto the nearest sofa. I close my eyes for a moment, but then... That sound. Someone's furiously jiggling the handle. Holy crap, now that I've had a few minutes to let everything catch up, my ankle hurts like hell. I try to hobble to the door, but it flies open before I have the chance. I ready myself to fight a murder murderer armed with a bat, but it's... Finley throws her arms around me and buries my face in her chest. Natch didn't kill me, but she might... But she might if she keeps squeezing me this hard. Avery! Avery, baby, what happened? Who hurt you? 
Just point me in, there right, in the right direction and I will destroy. Nobody hurts my honey like that. I fucking love her. She's so feisty and cute. Uh, I want to be Finley. <laughs> She's like, hi, I'm a cat that puts jelly donuts on my hand, but I'll kick someone's ass if they hurt you. Oh, I love her. Really? What? Avery, what's the matter? She loosens her grip just enough so I can escape and breathe again. I'm okay. Hurt my ankle, but I'll be okay. We need to stay safe and think about what to do. He was a witch, Finley. A witch beat graves. Oh my god, what do we do? Is Mama Finley going to have to block him? Don't be reckless. It's too dangerous. The door flies open, and our heads whip around toward it. Graves. What happened? Where is he? And suddenly everyone is here. The curse must have broken for everyone at once. This should be good news, but... Oh, Reese. It's bad. He's still out there. I think... Still out where? He lunges, but Mason intercedes. Stop. She's injured. What happened to him? You have to tell me what happened. Someone attacked us. I have no idea who he was, but he had a grudge against Graves. His name was... Natched, I think? I don't know who that is. What happened then? This Natched guy, I think he beat Graves. Reese clutches at his chest. He looks like he might fall over and pass out. I reach out to eat... To ease him to the seat, but he swats me away. I knew it. I knew he was going to get in over his head. I knew another witch was on his tail, but he told me to stay out of it. Damn it! I could have helped. Why didn't he let me help? Reese sinks into the couch and slams the armrest with his fist. Beating on furniture isn't going to do anything. But if that helps him feel better... He sinks his fingers into the cushion and looks hard at the floor. His eyes gloss over. He's holding back tears with everything he's got. I feel really bad. For all his blustering, Reese admired Graves a lot. I think he was the only one of us who really did. I guess now, after Graves saved me like that, I kind of do too. Too little too late, I suppose. So, now what happens? What do we do? We avenge him, of course. We kill Natched. Whoa, whoa. That's a bit extreme. All's fair in a duel. If that's what you if that's what this guy wants, that's what he gets. When he comes for the cafe, I'll take it back from him. Comes for the cafe? Why would he do that? When a witch defeats another in a duel, they take the loser's property. But he'll have to beat me to get it. Is Graves really dead? I don't know. If Natch's intent was to kill him... Damn it. Now Landry's the one who looks pissed. It's kind of scary. I've never seen him do anything but laugh and smile before. So it's almost as jarring as seeing Reese cry. Magic is a scourge. There's, this always happens when you get too close. Reese's head snaps up. What do you know about magic? You haven't studied? Hayes readies himself with wide eyes, his mouth pursed. Like the conversation is a game of double dutch played with live wires. What is it? Uh, uh, why does everybody keep talking about magic? Was Graves cursed too? He must have been, right? It all sounds so unreal. Still, are you sure it's magic? Of course it is. How else would this be happening? But he thought, but he was too strong to get cursed. That part was just us. But he was too strong to not, but he wasn't too strong to not curse us. Does that matter now? He's gone. And this Natch is going to be here to take everything else, too. He spits the name like it's profane. Reese launches himself from the chair and storms to the door. He puts his hands in his pocket like he's concealing a weapon. How would he just take the cafe? That's not how property works. There are, like, deeds and stuff. Not that I know much more about, more about it than that, but I'm pretty sure my parents didn't kill a witch to buy their house. Of course it's more complicated. I don't exactly have time to explain which territories. Just know that when you're defeated in a duel, you give your property to the winner. So unless Graves gave it away before the fight, Natch owns the cafe now. I remember Graves grabbing my hand and staring through me. I remember his words. I think he did. What? Before he fought. Before he told me to run away, he told me that he gave everything to me. You? Why you? You're a newborn baby stumbling through the witching world. That's not fair. You can't handle it. I think she damn well can. And besides, it's not like Avery's alone, right? I mean, I'm here too. I can kick some rando witch ass too. Since when can you use magic? Since Avery taught me. 
She sounds so proud when she says that. It makes me feel proud by extension. Guess I did some good. If Finley can learn, I can too. Jealous? Worried I can take you in a fight now? Ha. Huh. Wouldn't need magic to beat the snot out of some creep. I'll let him show his face. Well, I don't know if I'm okay with fighting, but we can all stick together and keep both Avery and the cafe safe, right guys? Y yes, I think a little self-defense could help us all. I know I'd feel a bit better. Ha! If that's how you'll all be, then you can't expect me to straggle behind. Of course I'll show you all if magic's really done. First things first, we need a plan. Avery, do you know for sure that Graves was defeated? Well, if the curse is broken, it's a pretty safe assumption. You know what they say about assumptions. Reese, would it ease your mind a bit if I go with you to investigate? Sure. I could use muscle to hold me back from eviscerating Natched. And Avery! We better take care of Mochi! What if Natched, like, takes him as a hostage or something? I bet he's the kind of scum who would do that. I'll get him. I'll bring Mochi back here. What? Finley, no! Come on! I'm good at stealth, and I've already got a key to your place. Who else is gonna go? Since when are you good at stealth? I'm so good at those gear games. Just get me a cardboard box, and I'll be good to go. I don't even know where to start with that. Look, doesn't matter. You stay and rest. Finley, Landry, Reese, go on your missions. I'll protect Avery. I can help, too. I know some first aid. I can help with your ankle, Avery. Guys... I'm just some screw-up kid. You don't have to do this for me. Of course we do. Yeah! You're our screw-up kid! We stick together through thick and thin! Us cursed cats! Tears of gratitude sting my eyes. I never thought I'd have friends like this, who'd endanger themselves for me. My high school friends would have run off the moment someone said curse. I love these guys. I vigorously scrub my face. Don't want to get too mushy. I hobble back to the couch. Okay. We could do this, right? Yeah! Yeah! Promise me no one's gonna get hurt, okay? Please. Give us more credit than that. Yeah! This guy will be sorry if he underestimates us. Then we enact our plans. Reese, Landry, and Finley all head out together. It's so weird to see them walk away from the cafe as humans. Hayes vanishes into the bathroom for the first aid kit. Mason dips the hell? Mason dips into the kitchen, and I hear a horrific screeching noise like metal against linoleum. What is she doing? She returns triumphantly. She smirks at me, or more, accu more accurately, at the dumb gawking face I'm making. Lock the door. With what? An industrial range? She gives me the self-satisfied smirk, then places in paces in front of the front door and the windows like a sentry. Oh my god, who needs magic? She can snap that Natch's guy, Natch guy's guy in half with her hands. Holy shit. Hayes is back with bandages and a bag of ice. Gingerly, he removes my shoe and rolls up my pant leg to get a better look at my ankle. Here's the thing, though. Graves put wards around the cafe, so that guy can't get in. Unless it's no longer in effect because he's dead. I don't know. I'm glad I'm wearing socks that don't have holes. Ugh, my ankle doesn't look great, but it could be a lot worse. I don't think it's sprained, just twisted. You just need rest. He slowly, neatly wraps my ankle with one of the stretchy bandages. When he pins it in place, it's like a pro's work. A professional ankle wrapper? Do you know a lot of first aid, Hayes? You're way calmer than I expected. Uh, I studied in scouts. Injuries and things don't bother me. Never have. Not everything makes me feel anxious. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad you're here to patch me up. He smiles sheepishly, but averts his gaze to the ground, toward the ice pack. He props my foot up on one of the big puffy ottomans, then places the ice on my ankle. Oh my god, does that feel good. Now just keep it elevated and rest a little. And take the ice off in 20 minutes. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes. Uh, I'm gonna make some coffee. I think everyone will need it. I stress nap once Hayes goes back upstairs. Sometimes I need a system shutdown before I can think straight again. I think even the cats know something's up, because they all swarm me. I've got two on my lap, and the others pile around me. It's soothing to hear them and feel their little paws stretch out at me. I hope it's helping them, too. It's not good sleep. Anytime I nod off, I have horrible visions of Natch turning Finley and the others to rust, and I startle myself back awake. This is a mess. Such a huge mess. I try to shut out the thoughts by remembering the Finley-sanctioned blast timeline. 
It's not much, but I feel a little better. Somehow I nod off, just for a moment. I shoot awake when I hear the door fly open. Is it Natch? Did he come right through the front door? Can witches come in uninvited, or is that vampires? Oh, it's Finley again. She balances the door against her hip, since her hands are full of cat carrier. The fussy lump inside is unmistakable. Mwah, mwah. Wow, you are so whiny! Hold your pants on, baby! Mochi! Did you have any trouble? Is everything okay? It's fine, though I had to lure him into the cat carrier with treats, and he hated every moment of being in there. So same as always. That's good. How about it? Should I unleash the beast? Uh, yeah, Mochi, if you cause any trouble with the other cats, you're going right back in, got it? Like he's going to choose now to start listening. Finley opens the carrier and he shoots out like a furry cannonball. Then he stands there, dumbstruck. He's got his own troubles now and playing nice with the cat cafe, the cafe cats, but at least he's here. That's one less thing Natch could use against me. When she's done, I grab Finley by the shoulders and drag her into, onto the couch. Ah, Avery, what? Now, stay here for a second, okay? Just, please. I tangle my fingers, fingers in her hair and bury my face against her shoulder. I was worried. Oh, Avery. I didn't even have time to get scared. I kept thinking about how this guy hurt you and... Oh, I'm gonna get angry again. I kiss the underside of her chin. She breathes a deep, tired sigh. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Yeah, it is. I see movement in front of the cafe. Is it... No. There's too many people for it to be natched. Anyway, I know that hat anywhere. It's Reese and Landry, back already with Graves. Or what used to be Graves. Now he looks like a forgotten statue, flaking bits of rust off as they haul him up on the sidewalk. Are their hands glowing? I squint to get a better look. Oh, they look like garden gloves? Glowing garden gloves? They set Graves in front of the cafe and then come inside. Reese peels his gloves off, then helps Landry with his. Nobody touch him unless you're properly enchanted. The rust spreads easily. Are you going to leave him out there? He looks like a huge, ugly yard gnome. Not that I'm going to say anything. We can't risk the cats coming over to investigate. Oh, I was reading the wrong voice. They might touch the rust, and Reese said it could spread to them too. I can't take him upstairs. Dracula would be at risk. Poor Dracula. I know she'll be heartbroken. So, now what do we do? We get ready. Who here knows a thing or two about magic? I mean, I know the two of us have learned a thing or two, though we're hardly experts. I guess we'll be doing the best we can to teach you, though. Speak for yourself. You can't teach me anything I don't already know. Wait, yeah, Reese, how do you know so much about this? I've learned a thing or two in my time. I'm not assistant manager just because I'm good at accounting. I have no idea what kind of magic you've been learning, Avery, but I won't let you steal the spotlight. I'll beat him. Haven't you been listening? He beat Graves. We gotta team up and come up with a plan. We fight alone. He picks us off. We all jump in. We have a chance. See? Mason gets it. Well, what do you propose? Haven't you ever cram studied before finals? We'll do that using the tried and true gray method. We shove enough magic in our short-term memory to beat him. We probably forget it five minutes after, but who cares by then? We'll be done. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You got a better one? See? It'll be fine. I'm basically an expert here, too. I got through half of my book reports without even opening the book. J just take the time to study properly. All right, someone get me the book, and I'll get this started. If I ever need a confirmation that I don't want to be a teacher, I get it today. I try leading a sort of haphazard class on magic, but it's like hurting cats. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Reese keeps correcting me. I think Mason fell asleep. Landry keeps getting distracted and wandering off. Finley's interested, but she's also interested in her phone. Hayes is too shy to actually try anything. It looks like Mochi is paying more attention than they are. This is important, so I keep trying, and I think they do too, but I'm exhausted. Look, I'm beat, y'all. I gotta take a nap. Can you just sort of, like, independent study? Sure, you should get some rest. We can take it from here. Yeah, that sounds great. We have to prepare to fight. But we don't even know if this guy's coming. You sure he'd be there. We could, um, take guard shifts? Right, we'll go in shifts. Avery can rest, two of us can stand guard, and the rest can move the cats into the basement. The, the basement? Why? I don't want any of them in line of danger. They're safer if they're away from us. I doubt Natch cares about cats. He won't go chasing them. 
Uh, but then we gotta herd them all down there. We can do it if we work together. You better get Mochi and Dracula too. I don't want to leave Dracula alone. She must be scared. Sure. Can you get her and then keep the cat's company? No, I'm taking first shift as guard. Graves would want it that way. I'll take care of them, Landry. The cats like me. Great. I'll take the other guard shift. Everybody else, relax. No. Oh. I don't know. Recently, Landry guard the door. I fall back on the couch. Napping is all I feel ready to contribute. I stare at the ceiling while I listen to Finley and Mason hurting the cats. Glad I have an excuse not to do that. I hear the soft sound of footsteps approaching, then silence. Not long after that, I feel the gentle peck of a kiss against my forehead. Scoot. Thought you were watching the cats. Eh, Mason and Hayes are taking care of it. Scoot. I move over and Finley takes the space I've been occupying. She pats her lap. I take the invitation by flopping across her legs. Ugh. I know. I feel her fingers sift through my hair. Man, I could die right here. I know. It's gonna be okay. Aw, uh, you're spoiling me. I know, right? Don't get used to it. I'll make it up to you. I'll do something really nice. Just name it. Avery? This sounds serious. Enough that I pop an eye open. She is serious. If we make it out of this, will you... What? This is so sudden. Will you cosplay with me? Oh my god. What? I think you'd make a good Ikea. Or there's other games you might like. I mean, that's it? Of course I will. Perfect! I had this one group in mind too, and I think you'd crash. The unmistakable sound of glass breaking. I shoot up so quickly my blood can't keep pace. The room swirls. I feel sick. Footsteps thunder from somewhere. The basement? I'm not sure. What was that? It came from upstairs. Oh, good thing we moved Dracula. Should we, like, should we go and see what it was? Don't you dare. I'll go. She's, the stomping storm's close enough to reveal its source. The stomping storm's close enough to reveal its source. Mason, wild-eyed but ready. No, I will. What? No! Try and stop me. Well, okay, but be careful. Hmm. Mason stalks upstairs, fit to kill. I think staying down here is the right idea. Time passes. First, nothing. But then, muffled voices. Thumping. Maybe staying down here wasn't the right idea. I exchange glasses, glances with Finley. Even Landry and Reese have noticed. Landry puts his hand on Reese's shoulder and gives him a firm, grim nod. Reese, keep guard. Right. With those long strides, he's already at the stairs. Finley launches from the couch after him. Wait, I'm coming too! Avery, stay there! You aren't fit to be tromping up and down like that! W no! I can go too, I... Crash. Another window shatters. Something falls to the ground, hard. I wince at the noise. It's like someone threw a car off the roof. There's debris everywhere. Landry flies up the steps to the apartment. The rest of us rush to the front window. It's natched. He's on the ground, pinned underneath something metallic. What is it? He pushes it aside. No! Reese throws open the door and charges it natched in the... Statue? Did Graves have a statue in his apartment? I don't remember anything like that. Yes, hi, there was those cat statues and trees. Kind of looks like a... Oh, God. What? What is it? That's... You bastard! Are you going to rust us all one by one? What's it going to take? What would you have me do? You're being so difficult. She didn't even have magic! Oh my god, he rusted Mason. This is terrifying. How is this a good path? Are we going to be able to save them? Because like, I feel like any, even if it's like a happy ending, like we get rid of Natched, we just lost Mason and Graves. Like this is depressing. Ha, <laughs> she didn't need it. Push me out a window that one with what fire, what muscle. But you, what's a little gosling going to do to me? Ah. Reese pulls something out of his pocket, but Natched is there before we see what it is. Reese's hand is frozen in place, rusted. We have to stop him! She strains to pass me, but I throw my arms around her waist to stop her. Don't! He'll turn you to rust! Who cares? I have to block his ass! And he'll get everyone if I don't! Do it from the door. Don't leave. She pries my hand away and charges the entrance, standing wide-legged in the doorway to block his way. Natch seems preoccupied with admiring his handiwork as the rest slowly creeps up Reese's arm. Ha! 
That shit blocked! Her voice rings out like a church bell, clear and deafening, and that telltale gust of wind blasts from behind her. The wind hits him full on, but it barely moves his hair. He raises an eyebrow and stares directly at... through... us. I... I don't think it worked. What? It has to! Hashtag blocked! Again the wind. Again he's... Darling, I hate to ask because you're trying real hard over there. But what are you doing? I can't understand that gibberish. Why? What am I doing wrong? Now's not the time. We gotta think of something else because she's was doing it to internet creeps who know what hashtag blocked is. This guy doesn't know that. It's hard to think on your feet when one of them's all messed up. There's a little trash bin by the door. I grab it and slam it to the ground in front of the entry. I think about a wall to go cops and other detritus climb together and cobble their way into a barricade. It's gross and it smells like old coffee grounds, but it feels kind of strong. I can still see Natch through the window. He seems amused. Jerk. What are you doing? Mason and Reese are out there. I know, and I feel bad, but they're rust already. We gotta figure out how to save ourselves and the cats. He's not even trying to come inside. Maybe he can't. I'm not gonna take any chances. We gotta stall while I think of something. I can make a sword out of some soda cans and fight him, but then it'd rust. Maybe a plastic sword. You aren't a little kid playing pirates. You aren't gonna go at anybody with a plastic sword. And don't act like you have to run in there yourself. But I've gotta do something. If your magic doesn't work on him, we're left with mine. I'm not gonna let you touch him, even if it's with a weapon. Look at you, you have no idea how to fight. I hate to admit it, but she's right. Okay, but if your blocks don't work, then what do we do? I don't know. We try to push the couch over the front of the window, but neither of us is strong enough. I guess it doesn't matter. Natch hasn't touched the trash barricade. I guess we're just stuck. Either Natch gets us, or we'll die of starvation and the cats will eat us. Wow, you went from zero to morbid real fast. It happens. Finley paces back and forth, mumbling to herself and ruffling her fingers through her hair. Such a sad cat cafe without cats. Um, she doesn't even look up. I wonder how long it would take for 14 cats to get hungry enough to eat us. I don't get why it didn't work. I put as much power behind it as I could. It should have compelled him the same way as the internet troll. Maybe he didn't get it. Like, he doesn't look like a guy that uses the internet much, you know? Avery, that's it! You're a genius! What? For what? I was making a joke. No, no, you're right! He can't get blocked if he doesn't have something to block. Maybe it has to mean something to the person I'm using it on. I have to find a word or phrase that gets to him. Like what? I don't know. What do old dudes do if they don't go on the internet? I don't know. Like fix motorcycles, read war books, watch westerns. Oh my God, it's fucking hilarious. He doesn't look like he does any of those things. I don't know any old TV shows. What gets rid of rust? <laughs> there you go. But there's got to be a catchphrase. Okay, I'll distract him while you think. I thought I told you not to fight him. I'm not fighting, I'm distracting. I kick the center of the trash barricade as hard as I can. I think about, I don't know, fireworks, shrapnel, something. Trash explodes outward. It's kind of gross. Styrofoam fragments sharpen into edges and fire at Natch. He blocks most of them, but he can't block them all. One hits him on the cheek. It didn't draw blood. It didn't draw blood, but I can see a welt. Ch. Ch. Uh. Um, we're getting close, so I'm gonna wrap this part up here. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I feel like this is going on, like, it's gonna be a long fight, which is kind of cool. I like that, but, um, yeah, let's see what happens in the next part, so. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.